so again, from consumer point of view, they want to connect with brands. They want to find this new channel that they can have an easy conversation with the brand, with the company that they anyway have to interact with. They are even willing to buy from a brand with which they chat or they connect over messaging applications. And why messaging? Well, this is the graph showing how it is going to grow. Uh, in, uh, it was that, 2021, it's more than 2 billion people that are expected to be on messaging applications. This is like the top four messaging applications all around the world, including Viber. So we are there. And as I said, all of our personal life is moving there. And it's getting more and more natural that we communicate in general over messaging applications. And you've been hearing that a lot also yesterday. I don't have to prove that to you. What to do? I often get asked this by our partners. How to start? What to do? Well, if you're a business, if you're a company, if you have some kind of interaction with clients, you have a database, maybe with mobile numbers, maybe with contacts. Start simple. Start with some modern way of notification to them, which is personal and empathic. It's never, never too hard to experiment, never too hard to try. You know? No need to be worried. Then you can move to a more complex solution. You can try with an assistant, with a chatbot, with some kind of artificial intelligence inside. But again, keep it simple. You saw the case of the yellow taxi company. It's not complicated. It's just a few buttons that you have to, to have. So try that. And then if you see good results and you will, you can come to companies like us and you can say, look, I have this specific idea. Let's go pro. Let's do it. I have this idea that will work on my market. Let's experiment. And then we can give you all the technical know-how and the bidding know-how that we have to achieve that idea. So for example, we launched this new channel, uh, I would say super group. This is how I like to call it. It's called Viber Communities. It can be private, it can be social, it can be for brands. It's basically a super group when you can, where you can have admins, super admins, you can delete content, you can chat with people you don't really know, you don't get their mobile numbers, but just their IDs. 